First up tonight, the nurses' strike tomorrow is going ahead. Thousands of nurses are scheduled to walk off the job at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for a 24-hour strike. There have been last-ditch talks today between nurses and District Health Board negotiators. They ended mid-morning. The parties went into talks yesterday afternoon at the direction of the Employment Relations Authority. A few minutes ago, Helen Mason, who's a spokesperson for the DHBs, began a media conference. It's still running. Our reporter Karen Brown is there. She'll join us live shortly. But this is some of what, uh, what Helen Mason has had to say. We're very disappointed to be advised that NZNO is going ahead with a strike. We are awaiting the final recommendations from the ERA facilitator um, and we're very disappointed that strike action is going ahead given that we have yet to receive those final recommendations and neither parties had an opportunity to review the recommendations. Um, DHBs look forward to receiving the final recommendations from the facilitator and we will be taking those recommendations very seriously and considering them very seriously. And we'll, we'll, um, we'll be taking our time over that, but we're pleased that we've had the opportunity to work with the facilitator. And the facilitator has considered um, the matters from both parties' perspectives, um, is very, very well versed in the issues, um, has absolutely heard nurses' concerns, as have, um, as have DHBs. Helen Mason speaking a short time ago. That media conference has now ended. Our health correspondent Karen Brown was there. She's ducked outside to talk to us. Karen, what else did Helen Mason have to say? Well, Helen Mason, um, we were asking her, when will you get the final recommendations from the Employment Relations Authority? It's, she said that, that the facilitator, the ERA, has considered both sides very carefully, but they don't have those final recommendations yet, and they don't know when the ERA will release those. In the meantime, Helen Mason, the DHB spokeswoman, said that um, uh, the DHBs will be taking those recommendations seriously and considering them seriously. But, um, of course, they're not binding, John, those recommendations. No. And the, but the DHBs are sounding uh, annoyed this evening um, at the nurses having announced uh, in the last half an hour, I understand, that they are going ahead with a strike. Um, Helen Mason said uh, the district health boards are disappointed that uh, nurses intend to continue the strike. And she said DHBs want to avoid this unprecedented strike action. Um, and she said that when, when the DHBs receive the rec the DHBs regard themselves as still in facilitation with the nurses. And, they, and she said when the DHBs receive the recommendations from the facilitator, the EPA, they will consider them immediately. Um, of course, by then, um, the strike may already be underway. And she was asked, well, what, what, what happens in, in that case? And she said, well, we'll consider them you know, immediately. But she also was at pains to point out that district health boards are well prepared. She said we've been preparing for three months for this. Nurses, of course, as you've reported, are 70% of the district health boards, the hospital's workforce. But she said um, they're well prepared. They will have nurses on and other medical professionals tomorrow. And she, she thanks all those who, who will be working tomorrow, including obviously some members of the nurses' union who are delivering life-preserving services. Karen Brown, who was at that uh, media conference from uh, the Helen Mason, sorry, the DHB spokesperson, Helen Mason. Uh, really interesting. We're going to try and find out what was being discussed in those talks this morning because the amount of money available in the offer was not going to increase. So we're going to try and hear from the nurses' union what was it that they were seeking to resolve as these last-minute talks were going on.